In each episode of this series, I will offer an applicant a blind choice of either a pleasant experience, a treat, or a darker trick. They won't know which one they've chosen, and they may not know how or when it will happen to them. All the applicants responded to advertisement. These are the six people that I've selected. They just don't know it yet. Welcome to Trick or Treat. Tonight's applicant, Andy, is a 31-year-old IT consultant from London. Having chosen him for the show, I've had our crew film him covertly so that I can watch him and get a sense of what makes him tick. Like many people who work in IT, Andy keeps his emotions rather cool. It's time to tell him his application has been successful, so we filled his local cinema with hidden cameras and a pretend audience. And he has received tickets to what he thinks is a free screening of a new release. Thank you for volunteering to be part of the show. Uh, we'd love to use you. What happens to you in the show depends largely upon your choice of one of these two cards. Okay? One of them says trick, and one of them says treat. I'll ask you to choose one of these two cards. If you choose the one that says treat, it'll be something pleasant. If you choose the one that says trick, it won't be. So, why don't you stand up for me, Andy? Take a step forward and look at the two cards. I'd like you to think about which one you would like to choose and when you're ready, point it out very clearly. That is this one here, correct? Yep. Thank you, Andy. Now, I don't want you to see what you've chosen, so I'd like you to turn and face the other way for me, please. Excellent. Thank you, Andy. You can turn back round now. Now, there's one more thing I'd like you to do. Uh, if you can step forward for me, you'll see there's a table just on the stage there with a contract on it. I need you to sign that contract. That just allows us to do anything we like with you. So have a quick read through it. And then if you can just pop your name at the bottom for me, there's a pen right next to it. Just there at the bottom would be great. Thank you, Andy. You can leave that there. Someone will pick it up later. Would you sit back down for me? Yep. Excellent. And you could expect a phone call sometime soon. We'll see more of Andy later on. Turner Prize nominees, the Chapman Brothers, are famously subversive British artists who've rocked the art world more than once with their outrageous works. Their art is collected by celebrities around the world and sells for vast sums. I asked them to bring along a piece of their work to an appropriately deconstructed location, and they chose Arachnikitty. It was recently valued by a gallery at £100,000. This painting is um, one of them. I think there's six of them, um, but they're all fluffy animals that have got something seriously wrong with them. I've also invited Adrian Searle, chief art critic from The Guardian. It's the possibly destructive effect of art critics that interests me here. Hello, Adrian. Hi there. Thank you so much for doing this. Great Thanks pleasure. for coming along. Oh, real pleasure to meet you. Um, no one's given you any indication of what we're going to do today. Nothing at That's all. Important. Fantastic. Now, be before we do it, um, I need to go and set something up. And before I set that up, right, I'm, this is odd. I'm going to ask you just to, can you walk? Okay, just turn and face this way. I'd like okay. you to walk. You're going to walk up to the end. Okay. I'm obviously going to feel a little self-conscious, but just try and do it naturally. Just up to the end there, and then I'll ask you to turn around and slowly walk back. Okay. Just sort of, All right. Just. Uh, 
and thank you and come back. Ever had any damage to this arm? Not that I know not that of. Not. Okay, all right. So I now need to go and set something up in the other room. Thank you for doing that, and I will come back and get you when I've done that. Okay. Hi. Do you Jake. Hi. Good to meet you. Um, you know, one of these is yours. Yes. I'm not going to tell you which is which. I'll be back in a second. OK. Will you guard them? Don't let anybody touch them now. That's the order I want them in. All right, thank you. OK, come stand over here for me. Just stand just there, that'd be great. Okay, so, um, you've met Jake and Dinos? Absolutely. Uh, Arachnakitty is one of these three. The other two are identically sized frames with a blank canvas, all right? It's so important at this point that you and Jake and Dinos and people watching this know that you, you, I haven't told you which one is. I, I have no idea where an Arachnakitty is. Brilliant. Have the knife, please. Turn and face the easels, please. So I'm going to ask you, and you're going to do this twice, to approach any one of the three parcels, the three canvases, and slash the painting diagonally, all right? However, very importantly, don't actually cut or stab or slice anything until I give you the specific instruction to do that. Does that make sense? It does, yes. Okay. While you do this, I'll be looking the other way. It's very important you move quietly and don't say anything that would give me any, any indication of where you are, because I don't want to know which, okay. which easel you're by. Okay. All right? I would like you, please, to walk over to any one of the three, and this will be one that you are planning to cut, to slice. So please head over to one of them. Please do so quietly so uh, I can't tell which you're going to. Now I'm going to presume that you've done that. I'll give you a few more seconds uh, in case you're moving uh, slowly. Otherwise I presume that you are in front of one of them now. You take the knife. Now bear in mind that they're all framed quite thickly so you need to avoid the, uh, the thick frame in the corners but you want to stab that knife in near one corner. Do that for me now. Stab it in and slice right the way down. Mind the uh, centre bar of the easel. Pull the paper off. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to I'm going to presume from that 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 wasn't the painting, and it sounds like you're over there. Uh, good. Okay. All right. If you do get the painting, you just tell me. All right. There are two left. Does a 50-50 decision. Please feel free to change your mind as many times as you like, and then go and stand in front of one of the remaining two canvases. Uh, again, though, you're only going to walk up to it. Don't slash anything until I give you the instruction to cut, all right? Please walk over to one of the remaining two easels, 